With the rear of our vehicle pretty much complete, we'll carry on with the front end, and although we've installed our suspension arms and sway bar with the previous kit bag, it's time for the front spindle and CVA assembly. Bag H. This bag will be similar to bag F, which includes the rear hubs and CVAs, although with a couple of slight differences due to the steering on the front end. So with grease and thread lock close by, we're ready to get started. Ok, we'll begin with our spindles by inserting a 4mm button head screw into the side. This steering stop screw creates a mechanical stop to limit the steering throw, although the screw is optional. With both sides complete, drive a kingpin screw into the top of each spindle, and then remove, before completing the same process on the bottom too. By doing this we are creating the threads in the plastic spindles, ready for installing the carrier. With that done, we are ready to install our spindle arms. To do this, insert two 10mm button head screws through the single Ackerman plate, then through the spindle arm, and secure to the spindle itself, again just so it's nice and snug. Now we can insert a larger bearing to the inner side, and a smaller bearing to the outer side of each spindle. And once repeated for the other side, our spindles are prepared and ready for the next step. So next we'll get our CVAs built, just as we did for the rear. Nothing new here. Again I like to use a dab of grease, not too much to attract dirt, but just a tad to help keep things free and increase the life of the parts. Repeat the process for both sides, and then go ahead and insert into the spindles we've already prepared. Secure with a retaining pin, before dropping on a hex adapter, and tightening into place with a single 3mm set screw, complete with thread lock applied, just enough so that the screw sits snug. Again we repeat the same steps for the opposite side. And with that said, our front CVAs and spindles are complete. Both should turn completely freely with no binding whatsoever. We now need to attach our caster blocks before we install into the front end assembly. Before doing that, insert two set screws loosely into the side of the spindle, top and bottom. Now we can position the first spindle in between the caster block, and secure with a kingpin shoulder screw from the top and bottom, again taking care not to over tighten. These should go in nice and easy considering we've already pre-thread the spindles earlier. We can then tighten the set screws taking care not to over tighten. Repeat on the opposite side, and with both complete we're ready to get these installed onto the front assembly. Taking care to feed the dog bone end into the diff cup, seat the assembly into place, and feed through a hinge pin, secured with a 4mm button head screw and a single 4mm set screw into the bottom to hold it in place. Repeat on the opposite side. And with that, our front CVAs are now built and securely in place. Ensure everything moves and turns freely. Perfect. The final step for this bag is to attach the ball studs for the steering and camber links to attach to. Begin by inserting a 4mm set screw into the outer hole on top of the caster block and an 8mm ball stud beside it, with a second ball stud going through the spindle arm, and securing into place with a single lock nut from the bottom. One side done, repeat on the opposite side, so set screw, ball stud, and the final ball stud with lock nut securing it into place. The front end is really starting to take shape now, a quick final check to ensure everything is nice and free, which it is. No reaming or anything else necessary. We'll stick with the front assembly in the next kit bag, building and attaching the front camber and steering links to the ball studs we've just installed, as well as the front shock tower. 